What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new stream. Today we are playing F1 Manager 22 Career Mode and I'm so ready for this event. The Belgian Grand Prix, first race back after the summer break and we are ready to take over Oscar Piastri. That's it. I am, I am the driver. I'm the manager. Get me in there. Lovely stuff. Hell, I'll drive both cars if I have to. These guys are absolute clowns. They can't drive to save their lives. They can't save tires. They can't do nothing. It's all me! That's why we're doing well, because I can choose the strategies of both teammates. And uh, that's absolutely lovely. So, let's stop mucking around and let's get into it. Belgian Grand Prix. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and follow on Twitch if you guys want to see the journey happen live. Let's get into it. We finally have some money in the pots. Uh, we've been bankrupt the last two or three races. Literally, no money to spend on the car. Um, we've done a lot of engine penalty taking, and now we can fully focus forward on uh, on the road ahead. Let's have a look at what we've got to do here. Monthly car development reports. That doesn't look good. We've been a bit unlucky. We haven't really had any safety cars or rain-affected races, so we've been lingering out around P15 most races, which is fine, especially for this car's performance, but, you know, we want to get the odd point here or there if... Um, you know, there's anything to capitalize on. Let's spend some money then. Uh, we've been wanting to do this upgrade for the longest time. This is the helipad. Give it to me! Give it to me! The final helipad in existence. And it's going on right now. 800k, 12 days, 5% sponsor targets payouts. Lovely stuff. Oh, we've got development points for James Irwin. Quicker feedback. Yes. Give me some of that. Okay, we've got development points for our reserve driver. Uh, honestly, this guy, decent shouts of getting the race seat from Albon. That said, Albon has been very consistent this season. Everything is really solid. Really, really solid. Let's improve the, improve the pace. Is there anything we can boost memorabilia? That'll boost morale. Yeah, go on. It doesn't cost much. We could do with improving the morale for everyone all around. Especially at this point of the season. It's a long season. Let me just see how many parts we have of everything. Let's make another chassis. 150k really doesn't cost much. Front wing. We also only have a quantity of two. Where's all our stuff going? Yeah, rush. 300k. Uh, let's do another front wing. Uh, rear wing. Manufacturing department is maxed out. Okay, new rear wing is done. And I saw the graphic. Front wing, manufactured. Hello, memorabilia room is complete. And anything else? Chassis. Spare chassis done. Oh, baby. There it is. Soak it in, because we'll never see this again in this career mode save. The helipad is fully maxed out. Can we, can we go into prestige mode? I want to go like prestige 2 with my helipad, please. I want to have a super helipad center. Underfloor design is complete. Oh, that's a big one. That's a brand new spec underfloor. Underfloor it is. What is it? Is it like the Friday of... It's, e it's very close to the race weekend. This has to be emergency. We did this before for Canada. And those upgrades proved to be very effective. We got two weeks. Uh, good thing I didn't uh, do crunch time on oh, my engineers. We can, uh, we can actually do that fine. Manufacture, underfloor, rush, give me two parts, both of them done in eight days. Let's actually go for three, just in case. Let's boogie. Let's research for next year's car. I'm going to go full send with underfloor. Is side pods cheaper to do? All right, no, no, I'm just going to crack on with side pods. We don't have any side pod upgrades. This will make us super slippery in a straight line. 39 days. All right, we've finally decided on something. All right, new underfloor. I thought we sent out scouts on this guy. Confirm. Let's do some scouting on Fernando Alonso. And Valtteri Bottas. <laughs> not to worry, not to worry. There we go. Maybe some more team personnel are interested. Anyway, Ben Mitchell. Yeah, more feedback. This is a very stacked episode of, of doing things. I'm sorry to uh, to dwell on that for so long. Let's let's move to the race weekend. 
Oh, Oscar Piastri has a development point, which has popped up out of nowhere. Another point for Oscar. Smoothness. Right, performance targets. Qualifying position. They want P15. Can we reach Q2? Let's see if we can do that. Race targets. Let's go for P14. To the race weekend. That is practice one and done. Probably the most eventful practice of the entire season. We had... Mistakes left, right, and center. I can't even count on my hand the amount of people that binned it over the course of three practice sessions. Uh, even one of our guys did it as well, Teo Porsche. Uh, unfortunately, binned it in practice one and uh, stopped Oscar Piastri from getting in a quality lap at the end. But uh, regardless, we've shown our hand a little bit at times. Albon got P6 in uh, this session, as you can see here, with uh, a bit of a glory run. Albon's setup was 97% confidence. Oscar Piastri is high, but I'm not sure that high. Either way, pace is looking decent. We've got a new underfloor for this race, so I'm hoping we can challenge for Q2. It's going to be a tough ask. This is not a track that suits us. So let's go to Quali and hope. Hope, hope, hope we are competitive. Green go out light, straight away. We don't know when the rain is coming, so let's beat the big teams to the punch. Right, let's check the weather. Track grip is staying normal. Where is the weather? It's a dry Q1. If we can make it to Q2, then look out. 44.9, Piastri on top. Sonoda, bested by Piastri. Yellow sector one, we've had a crash. Verstappen is out before he even gets a time in. Oh my goodness, that's huge. Starting his first Q1 lap. Massive lockup. That's an off. And, and in the bin. We're only six tenths off Carlos Sainz as well. Have we suddenly arrived? We're ahead of McLaren. We're actually fast now? P8 and P10. Everyone but Leclerc has set a time. All right, Piastri is fuel burning. This is crucial. Piastri up in the middle sector. Is he going to improve? Up to the line. Stays P9. What about Albon? Albon on new tires. Piastri has a brand new set for Q2, if he makes it. Not sure he's going to make it. McLaren have just snuck ahead. Uh, it was a false sense of security. Mick Schumacher doesn't improve. Piastri might be safe. It's either... It's, it's going to be one of us in Q2. Who's it going to be? Albon or Piastri? It is... Piastri. With the new set of tyres. I think that's the best outcome, if I'm honest. Albon is eliminated from qualifying. I like it. Fuel burn, fuel burn, fuel burn, fuel burn. Oh, that's traffic. That's traffic. Lots of traffic. Even more traffic. 45.9. I think that's a bit rubbish. I'm literally going to send him out on the same set of used tyres. Oh, rain, 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 rain. Pull car in. Let's get the new tyres on now. Rain is imminent. Let's get this lap in as quickly as we can. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Up to the line, P10! Oh, that session ends! We're in P10! What rain? Oh my word! Where is the rain? We're currently sitting in P10 right now. Can these guys improve? Gasly crosses... Gasly goes P1! Sonoda... Ah, oh, we're knocked out. P11. Well, that's the end of that then. Well done, guys. The, the weather predictions have been spot on. We're absolutely preparing for heavy rain. And uh, yeah, we clearly got it, didn't we? P15, P17 to start this race. That is before penalties, though. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's going on. Heavy rain for Quali never showed up. Clear skies for Sunday, and Albon was on intermediate in that cutscene. Race strategy, soft medium. But that's probably what I want to do for Oscar, if I'm honest. So, we're going to let Oscar push on ahead. No, I don't want it. Medium hard. That's what I want. Albon, though. Albon might actually be able to pull off the medium soft. Bit more risky for Albon, but he's got the tire wear to back it up. What about hard soft? Right, hard soft. P13 and P15. That's, uh, that's not bad to start this race with. Thank you for doing the driver options. I did it. No, I thought I was crazy and that it was never working. But now, now we know. They, now they can go full send off the start. 
and that makes a huge difference. You can hear the excitement in the All right, here we here. go. Belgian, Belgian Grand Prix. Grand Prix. We've got some great starting position for this race. And it's lights out, and away we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. P11 for Oscar Piastri. I can smell it. We're full send right from the start. Both are maxed out on fuel. Let's go. Albon right behind. Good start from him. He's actually picked up a spot. Okay, we're going full send with Oscar with overtake mode. Try and get ahead of Ricardo. Is he going to go for it? No. Albon is looking very feisty at this point. We yeah, can't we'll overtake be... around Spa to save their life. Don't say that. Okay. We want to see overtakes. Come on, Oscar. Get ahead of your future F1 seats. Yes, yes, no. Come mate, send it, send it, send it. He's not he's not deploying. I'm trying my damnedest to get him ahead of Ricardo, but it's not working. Stappen. It'll be interesting to see if he can fight his way through like real life. Come mate, go for a move. DRS is enabled. What is happening? Ricardo is isolated now. Oh, around the outside! Yes, mate! Yes, lovely send. Here comes Albon as well. Cheeky bit of overtake for him too. Oh, he half has a look. He has a look. He's going up the inside. No, he backed out. Unlucky, mate. Gastry has broken the DRS to Ricardo, But Albon needs to fight to get back in it. Which he has done. Lovely stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Can we get him now? Can we get him now? We got the DRS. Ricardo is isolated. And that is a position gained for both cars. Feel free to push on now, mate. Push on. Yeah, this underfloor upgrade has certainly made a, a big difference to us. We have DRS on our teammates. Don't fight teammates for now. 49-1 from Albon. Actually, he's a lot quicker than Piastri. This is how we effectively DRS train. We will alternate the drivers. Why? Oh, a nasty crash there. He's not doing himself any favors. He is not doing himself any favors in this team. Are you trying to get fired? Box for hards. Box for F2. Box for a, a career change. What's the damage, Chief? Front wing and suspension. Very good. Uh, bring back Gotifi. Yeah, I, I think it might have to be done, you know. All right, in he comes. I can't believe he bottled this. He's had such good pace this weekend. Such good pace. It's going to be double points. All right, let's hope that he can go to the end from here. But with balanced, maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to leave these guys to push on for now. Verstappen. 10 laps into this race, a quarter of the way through, and he's still only in P18. This is not the Verstappen we all come to know and love. Anyway, Albon. Let's see if we can catch up to Norris. That would be amazing. I feel like um, ERS recovery around this track is pretty forgiving. And we are catching the McLaren, I think. Yellow in Sector 2. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get him. Let's get him. 1.4 now. Oh my god, it's so refreshing. It's actually so refreshing having a car that can actually perform. That is somewhat competitive because now it just opens things up so much nicer for us. So close to DRS now. We're dropping Ricardo too. Albon, what a guy. What a driver. Let's go. Let's go. We are catching Gastry's. Falling off a cliff right now. Last and not catching Vettel. At least by much anyway. 1.1 to Norris. This is it. People are into the lane. George Russell is in for hard pop out tyres. Slow AF stop for Bottas. And here we are. We've rejoined ahead of them. Ricardo is close, but not close enough. We have DRS to Lando Norris. Get in there. Norris Choo Choo Train. Nah, nah, he's gonna he's gonna pull us along nicely. And uh, we're gonna be able to save some resources here. Ride right on board with Ricardo, make sure he doesn't get Make sure he doesn't get near us. He is threatening. Not close enough. 
Harvest the RS. Alright, alright, alright. We're doing it, we're doing it. Norris losing time to K-Mag. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not really my concern right now. We used all our performance to catch up to Norris, so that now we can replenish it while actually not losing too much performance. This is how we set ourselves up for the back end of this race. This is why we were pushing so hard. Russell stuck behind. Daniel Ricciardo. Piastri is caught up by four seconds to Vettel. All is not lost in this race. Right. Less ERS save required. Still going to save some though. Norris is on softs. Well, it's a good thing we've charged up our battery for this. We are ready to go when required. Is Norris going to box this lap? Magnussen is into the lane. You'd have to say Norris will pin as well. And he does. So now... Oh my god, look at that train. Look at that train. Go push. Okay, copy. Time to go. Norris onto mediums. Aggro stop for him. Where's Piastri and all this? Is he going to get towed along by someone? I hope so. Maybe Stroll. That's who he's actually fighting in this race. Ricardo. Ricardo will take Albon. Lovely stuff. And there's Piastri. There's Piastri. Now we push. Push, push, push. Give us what you got. Get into that Aston Martin DRS train and then we're sorted. Now, in Albon land. This is literally the strategy from real life. Albon holding up the McLarens and everyone in the midfield to get points. Medium hard for Ferrari. No bottles today from them. If anything, Ricardo's going to lose DRS here. Ricardo is going to cost himself a free ride on the Albon Express. I tell you what, the Albon Express... No, it hasn't left the station. Ricardo's very good under brakes. He made up half a second under brakes. Could someone explain? Could someone explain how he just did that? Now, the Albon Express has left the station. I mean, no, it hasn't. What? Okay, Piastri is on them. Harvest. Uh, let's go light on fuel. This is your fight now. To get to the end of the race on those tyres. Alright, leaders are in. Prez on the hards. Hamilton on two. You guessed it. Hard compound tyres. Go on, Yujo. Ricardo is into the pit lane. All right. The RS doesn't matter after all. Russell. Rejoining behind. The Alfa Romeo. Go on, Yujo. That has helped us. All right. This is our chance to push now. Push, push, push. Let's eat these tyres for all they're worth. And hopefully no mistakes. Keep battling, guys. Keep battling. Let's fast forward time. Albon very nearly got DRS off of Hamilton. That would have been legendary. Wouldn't be the worst thing if Russell gets through here. Piastri fuel. Oh, yeah. He needs to... Ah, uh, I don't know. He's, he's chilling in the... He was meant to be chilling in their DRS. That's not happening anymore. Let's keep an eye out for that Piastri gap. Let's wait for him to get within DRS again. Anyway, lap times. Lap times. 48-7. Plays 49-1. We are overcutting Ricardo right now. Overcutting Ricardo. Jeez, we are legitimately faster than McLaren today. And Russell's not really getting past us either. We've got no ERS left. 48-4. Plays 49-2. Pulling away by his second a lap. There goes Russell. That's probably for the best, you know. I'm happy with that. Because now that Mercedes race pace is going to drag us along. I hope we haven't flopped that. Stay within DRS. Stay within DRS. Stay within DRS. Wow. George Russell is pushing. That might be a faster start for Russell. He lost DRS. Oh. And Piastri has overtaken the Aston Martins. We are too quick today. We're causing, we're causing problems for ourselves. I don't know. There's a chance we could get back in the DRS of Russell if we're, if we're super lucky. Maybe he was just pushing for one lap. Maybe he's now backing off. Maybe he's saved... Or used as ERS. If we can fight back into it, that would be golden. Joe gets us. Rinse and repeat. Let's stay with this guy. Don't let him out of DRS range. 48-6. Uh, McLaren was slightly quicker last lap. This is the fight we're in with. But I want to make up maximum time now. Before we stop. Let's see what this pace is, is from Joe. I really hope it's good. Drag us into a new echelon of pace, please. 48 to... 47! We're in the 47s now. Yes! The overcut and DRS train strat is 
so powerful for us. Don't worry, we're not going on to soft. We're going on to mediums next. So we're just going to rinse this for as long as the lap times are good. We are overcutting the McLarens. We're even overcutting Leclerc in the Ferrari. He's going backwards. 47.2, 47.5, 47.6. Yeah, this is great. This is, this is working into our plans really nicely. Hit windows in one lap. I am loving this. Oh, hello, Sonoda. Verstappen, oh, could be a threat. Could be a threat. I think we're about to box, guys. Don't want to squabble. I don't want to get overtaken by Sonoda. And we're about to lose DRS. About to lose DRS. Nine and a half tenths. We still get it for this occasion. We are fighting to stay in the DRS. 47-4. I think this is potentially the lap. I think we box this lap for new medium compound tyres. Box, box, box. I don't want to risk it getting close to 30% where we've pushed it just about as far as we can push it now. And uh, now we go on new mediums. So like, look at this. We were dangerously close to getting overtaken by Sonoda. And, you know, you never know. We could have been just around the corner from a big mistake. So best not to push the tyres too far. But we are in. Good stint from Albon. Onto the medium compound tyres. We... Maybe. Might be on a chance for points if we're lucky. Verstappen. There's Verstappen. Alright. Let's chase down this group of cars with no ERS. How's Piastri doing? He's on target to make it, it looks like. But only for P18. What about these tyres? Oh, yeah. We can go full send. Full send. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to crack on until Verstappen catches up to us. Then we might DRS train him. Alright, 46s for Verstappen. That is rapid pace. But, you know, you come to expect that. That's a nice little train. That's for P10. That is for P10. If we really, and I mean really, play our cards right, we can get involved in that. I want to do this race. I want to run this race in the most efficient way possible. I don't want to hold up for snapping. I want to put ourselves in a strong position at the back end of the race. Science is setting purple sectors. Max should get us now. Max should get us now. Surely. 47.5. We are catching them, even with just my pace alone. Without pace alone, we are catching these guys. Yeah, Max could easily be doing our strat of just saving himself behind us. Either way, let's crack on ourselves. 47.8. Yeah. This lap should be better. Yellow sector 3. Pass the slap. Don't empty your ERS or you won't be able to follow after he overtakes you. True. But I still I still want to like drag us along. I don't want to waste any time. I've only got 10 laps to go in this race. And I want to get involved with this. If we can't catch up to P10, then all this is for nothing. It doesn't matter. Like, P10 is what we want. Yellow in second two. There goes Max. It is done. We've just had a car run wise. Red Bull gained the place. Okay, now we go. Now we go. Go, go. Drag me along, Maxi boy. Oh, look at him go. This is going to be a fast start for sure. Boom, we've arrived. Oh! What happened? Someone spun. Oh, had a spin. <laughs> Let's take a look at the replay. All eyes on Kevin Magnussen here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The car's just gone. Uh, we lost a lot of time there. We lost a lot of time there. Not ideal, not ideal. We do have better pace than these guys, I hope. I really hope. Gasly's going up into P10. And Gasly's going to hold up this lot. 1.7. Come on, bring it down, bring it down. Bring that gap down, please. 1.9. Come on, you got to get stuck in. 1.5. Albon is giving this everything he's got. It's David versus Goliath. We're fighting Gasly. But more importantly, Leclerc and Verstappen for one point in this race. Oh, that's not fed well. 2.1. Come on, Alex. Oh, oh, we're dropping off. That spin has done us so dirty. It's denied us a chance at P10. I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. 
harvest through the middle sector where it doesn't matter. It's going to be tough to fight back from here. Six, there's only six laps to go as well. Oh man, Albon's driven so well. The fact that we're even in this Check fight the yes. is super impressive. And this is with no safety cars, no weather, no nothing. To be that close is uh, is is very good. Piastri's P18. There's nothing he can really do either. Gonna have to hope for a mistake from many of these guys. Someone spun out. Oh, we can take a look now. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. I bet they lost no time at all from that. They should have. They should have lost so much more time. <laughs> if only. If only, guys. Perez looking pretty solid for this one. Ocon in P3. Having a great race. P13 is still a great result. We'll get our sponsor bonuses for this. Why is everyone so quick to say fire Piastri? Uh, I'm not going to fire him, I don't think. We're going to develop him. It adds to the story. He's going to be our world champion. And it just means more developments. And I hope that, you know, when the car gets better and improves and when we're in a championship contending position, he won't be making these mistakes. He'll be a more well-rounded driver. Just think about Max Verstappen back in 2016, 2017, even 2018, making all those mistakes. But look at him now. He's one of the most consistent drivers on the grid. That's what I hope will happen with Piastri. They spun the car. That's now two people that have spun in front of us, yet have still not given their track position. All right, Perez wins. The Belgian Grand Prix. And the crowd are very happy with that one. Color signs, P2. First. Ocon. An absolute postcode back in P3. But that'll be a popular podium. <laughs> GG. Well deserved. Russ though. Unlucky P13. Look at all these people that were in that train that we could have got. So close yet so far to some big points. Only five or six seconds off that. I think we can be pretty proud with the uh, the steps we've made this race. Piastri home in P18. All right, there we go. Very jumbled up grid. We have some big movers and shakers. Alonso, Gasly, Verstappen fighting their way through with incredible pace. Ocon, good shout there. George Russell moved back a bit. Bad race for Sonoda, bit of a spin there. Magnussen had an issue. Uh, the McLarens were very slow and only went backwards. Mick Schumacher, not sure what happened to him. Um, yeah, Piastri made that mistake when he was in front of Alex Albon, but managed to uh, do a bit of damage limitation, get the hards to the end of the race without needing an extra stop. So well done, Piastri. Uh, but P13, man of the match, in my opinion, for that performance or driver of the day as we say in F1 not in rugby league but uh yeah best lap of a 46.6 it's not exactly up there with these guys but that's not a bad shout with this car uh with that we still are where we were uh we've been overtaken by Joe Guan Yu in the driver's standings down to P12 unfortunately uh constructors Alpha Tauri pull away once again anyway driver experience coming in no development points for anyone. Not a full mil in the bank. Lovely stuff. And there we go. That is this episode for today. Still exceeding expectations with the board. And ATR period is ending soon. Can we do any car parts development? No, we cannot. But what we will do before we sign off is a chassis. Because Oscar broke the last one we had. Done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you to see plenty more racing game content. Good race. We came close. Uh, but let's see what we can do in the next one in Zandvoort where um, chat tells me a lot of group penalties happen for the AI. So who knows? We might be defending points. Until then, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.